When you tap your foot to the music, you're keeping the beat. Rhythm is what happens on or around the beat. Remember, the beat stays the same. The beat stays the same, but the rhythm changes with the words. Let's start rhythming. So the goal of this lesson is to learn by doing. For every new rhythm we learn, I wanna get you to play it along with me. It's gonna take some getting used to, so try pausing the video and practice a bit after I model the example. Before we start, we gotta set our metronome. This will help keep us consistent and steady while we play. It'll also help us to visualize and notate our rhythm on paper. Next, set your time signature. This will help determine the feel, meter, and beat stress for every measure. This helps us to organize our beats and tells us which beats have more emphasis than others. Rhythm is how short or long a sound or silence lasts. Okay, so let's take a look at our rhythm tree. Here we have whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. Whole notes have a value of four beats. What's a beat? Well, remember our metronome? Every time you hear a click, that's a beat. It's the music's heartbeat. When you see people bobbing their head or tapping their foot to the music, they're keeping the beat. Okay, so getting back to my whole note. If I see a whole note, I'm going to play that note on my instrument and let it ring out for four beats. If you don't have your instrument with you, let's just clap it out and count out loud, like this. Remember to clap on the click of the metronome and always be counting. Try bobbing your head or tapping your foot while you play as well. That'll help you keep solid time. If I see a half note, that's going to be two beats each. Teaching music online can still be fun and engaging. Click the link in the description below for the rest of the video, which includes more play-along examples, rhythm theory, and a fill-in-the-blank worksheet.